How to Skate Backwards. Tutorial. This request is by a YouTuber that goes by Cody Boy. He writes, You do not seem afraid to roll over or try anything. Very comfortable in your skates. Two questions. Approximately how fast are you moving when you do the drag to hockey stop? And do you have any plans to make a how to skate backwards tutorial? Well, to answer the first question, I'm not going very fast when I do the drag to hockey stop. That is only within speeds of two to five miles per hour. Whenever I wanna go faster and stop at a much greater speed, I use the power slide. And to answer your second question, yes, I will make a backwards skating video. Okay, this tutorial is gonna be an instruction on how to skate backwards using one leg. This is just an example of what you're going to be learning slowly moving our way backwards. See, I got that smooth motion going, and then I come to a stop. All right, first, let's maintain our balance by lifting one leg, just to see how we're doing. We can do this in the grass as well. After we have the balance down, we can start by placing our right foot down on the ground. Make sure it's not outward like this. It has to be inward. If you place it outward instead of inward, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. This is the right way. This is the wrong way. See, I can't move anywhere. So that's why we're placing our foot inwards when we start off to go backwards. So after you do that, gradually go backward in a smooth motion, weaving your foot in and out, making sure you do a stop just like I did. Again, you're going to put your foot inward, press off. If you lose motion, your flow, just reset yourself and continue again. Make sure you stay fluent and then end it by putting the foot behind the other. This is how it should look. Having the constant motion is the key to not hesitating or tripping yourself. I've incorporated a sideway view so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Nice and smooth. Right here, I'm bending my knees. This is too low. You don't need to go that low. You need to bend your knees ever so slightly, but not too much. Just like you're going forward and you're bending your knees, the same way when you go backward. Here is a behind view of skating backwards. You see my foot placement? It's out of control. This is what you do not want. The correct way to do it would be this way. Your wheels are barely leaving the ground. You don't need to excessively lift your wheels off the ground. See how the wheels are barely off the ground. You still have nice control. Here's one more example of that. Nice and smooth, not jerky. And then end it. This is all a controlled movement. Knowing where your feet are at and what cracks are behind you. Right here, I know I'm not looking at the ground because I know where all my cracks are at. But in your case, you want to look at the ground. 
this after you get the hang of it this is how it should look you should be able to practice and get quicker and quicker your front wheel you're going to notice it's going to wear down pretty quick you're putting all the pressure on this wheel so it's not going to be very big compared to all the other wheels This is the wrong foot placement. This is correct. This is wrong. You want your foot to be out in front of you so you can maintain your balance and push off. This is your dominant foot. Right here I'm using my right foot. If you're left footed, then use your left foot. Right here it seems like I have pretty good flow, but I didn't look to see what cracks were behind me. This is where I lost my flow. I have to stop and reset myself and continue again. Right here. You don't have grip of the ground, you're taking your wheels too far off the ground in the pack. This is not very much motion, so you're not going to get anywhere as quick. And this is too much motion. No need to go out that far. Here is the correct way to do it. You have good flow. You're not glitchy. And you stop. Right foot. Push back. And then stop. So in the end, this is pretty much what it should look like once you know what you're doing. This is my pace. The pace I'm used to. I know where all the cracks are. But of course. You want to look back. Just like this. See where your next crack is. And then look forward again. This is the correct flow. Alright. So just keep in mind. Whenever you go skating backwards, whether it's on one foot, this is the angle you want to put your foot and propel yourself backwards. Make sure it's a constant motion. Don't stop or hesitate. That's the quickest way to fall. And then remember to stop by putting your foot behind you.